The treasure from Duvanli, Plovdiv region. Bulgaria was found in five mounds out of a total of 29 of the large ritual complex. Some of the objects found here from the 6th-5th century BC find their parallels in the works of Homer. In the 10th canto of the Iliad, if you wish to slip into the Trojan camp, yonder are the soon-arrived Thracians, stationed at last by all. Among them is King Res, son of Ionius. I saw his horses, fairest and largest, whiter than snow, swift as a whirlwind. His chariot is beautifully decorated with gold and silver. He came with weapons, golden, huge, wonderful to see. It is not like mortal men to wear them, but immortal gods. The amphora from Kakuva Mound of the Odrysian royal necropolis near Duvanli is made of silver with gilding. It has a height of 27 centimeters, weighs 1,344 grams and is dated to the 6th century BC. The neck of the amphora is separated from the spherical body by a belt of ovals, and at the bottom is a 27-leaf rosette. The handles of the amphora are shaped like monsters with backwards lion heads. They have pointed ears and large curved horns, which in one of the monsters are broken off. Their shoulders are stylized as a figure eight, and their tails end in fan-shaped tufts of hair. The front legs are three-dimensional. Their muscles are stylized as a lotus flower. And the ribs are given the shape of a slightly curved multi-leafed palmetto. The hind legs of the monsters have stepped on a high tambour. A spout for pouring the liquid is placed on one of the handles. The Riten amphora from Kukova Mound, Duvanli is made of silver with gilding. Casting, hammering, joining handles to body. Partial gilding. Height 13.4 cm. Inventory of a male burial in a sarcophagus-like grave in Kukova Mogola, Duvanli Necropolis. An egg-shaped body from which a long neck tapers in the middle. Two handles one of which has a long spout. The neck is relatively short and narrows in the middle, the mouth protrudes outward. The handles are shaped like two lion griffins with wings attached to the body and heads turned back. With their front paws they have stepped on the mouth. The neck is separated from the body by a nodule strip. The body is decorated with three horizontal friezes. On the shoulders we see alternating lotus blossoms and palmettes. Joined at the base and facing downwards. Next is a strip of incision, under which this same frieze passes, but mirror inverted in relation to the upper one. Below it are vertical grooves that reach the bottom. The style of the amphora is Achaemenid. Undoubtedly, a work of a very good Torvet, brought up in the spirit of Persian artistic traditions, which speaks for both the subject form itself and the stylization in the depiction of the ornaments and animals. A plot presents us with the winged lion griffin which is characteristic of Eastern iconography and is especially common in the art of the Persians. Undoubtedly, the Persian influence is strongly expressed in the choice of subject form. Closest to the gold specimen from the Scythian find in Filipovka, 
finds from Iran and Asia Minor and the specimen from the Panagur treasure. The file from the Bashova mound of the Odrysian royal necropolis near Duvanli is made of silver with gilding. It is 3 cm high. 20.5 cm in diameter and weighs 428 grams. The file is dated to the third quarter of the 5th century BC. On the inside, the vessel is decorated with four chariots engraved in gold. The chariots are depicted in a fast run with one charioteer and one warrior each. The charioteers are in long chitons, and one of them is draped with a mantle. The warriors are dressed in full battle gear. Helmet, breastplate, knee pads and shield. Two of them wear a Chalcidian, the third a Corinthian, and the fourth a Thracian type of helmet. The shields are decorated with a horse a lion and a centaur. The file is believed to represent a competition scene. The fighters are engraved in various poses. One is preparing to jump. Two are standing on the axle of the chariot, and only the fighter with a Thracian helmet stands firmly with both feet on the floor of the chariot. The scene shows an Odrysian royal commission where in the race within the race the most likely winner is the Thracian team. The silver branch is gilt depicting four chariots. It was discovered in Bashova Mogola in the 4th-5th century BC. The kiliscut from Bashova Mogola is made of silver with gilding. It has a height of 3 cm, a diameter of 13 cm, a weight of 220 grams and is dated to the third quarter of the 5th century BC. On the bottom, in a golden frame of laurel leaves, is engraved an image of a goddess riding an Amazonian horse, floating over a sea in which fish swim. The jug from Bashova Mound is made of silver. It has a height of 8.6 cm, a diameter of 8.3 cm, a weight of 236 grams, dated to the second half of the 5th century BC. The body of the jug is covered with grooves. An inscription in Thracian language with Greek letters, Dadalem A, can be seen at its mouth. Two translations are possible in the Thracian language, Mother, Earth, Help, or Father. Repel the evil forces. This inscription is also found on other dishes from the royal service and can be taken as typical for the Odrysians. It is found on vessels that were produced after 340 BC. The writon with the protome of a horse from Bashova mound made of silver with gilding. The writon has a height of 20.6 cm. A weight of 400 grams and is dated to the third quarter of the 5th century BC. The mouth of one of the most exquisite writings is covered with pearls. And below it is engraved a frieze of alternating lotus flowers and palmettes connected by volutes. The body is decorated with vertical tongue-shaped grooves. They end in its lower part. Shaped like the protome of a horse. The grooves are separated from the protome by a pearl girdle. The horse's breastplate, hooves and mane are gilded. The drinking hole is mounted on the horse's chest. The court has the same inscription in Greek. Cantharos from the great mound of the Odrysian royal necropolis near Duvanli.
The height of the cantharos is 25.5 cm. Weight 1073 grams and it is dated around the middle of the 5th century BC. The vessel has a tall foot and highly curved handles that protrude from the mouth. To the mouth above the handles, the craftsman solders a silver head with an ivy wreath. Gilded scenes are engraved on the outside of the walls. In one scene, Dionysus can be seen walking to the left, and opposite him is a bacchanal walking with a doe in her hands. The scene has a good parallel with the bacchanalian tragedy of Euripides, where the retinue of Agaba, daughter of the founder of Thebes Cadmus, is described. On the other side of the cantharos are represented a satyr and a bacchanal with a thyrsus in hand. The naked satyr is draped in the skin of a sacrificial doe and holds a thyrsus in his right hand. The scenes illustrate rites of the Dionysian cycle. Appliques for armor from the great mound, made of silver, 6.5 cm high and dated to the mid-5th century. Three pieces with Nike appliques and five pieces with Lion and Gorgon appliques were found. They form a complete armor set. The Gorgon is depicted in a Thracian form and differs from the Hellenic image of the Gorgon. She does not inspire fear and terror but is presented smiling and good-natured. A crescent-shaped breastplate made of pure gold with beveled edges and cut in the upper middle. At the ends, two holes for attachment to the garment. The field is framed by a band of printed freckles facing the hole inward. A large figure of a predator is located in the field. This is a lion, or rather, a dog. Undoubtedly the work of a local craftsman. The stylization of the mane like rhombuses, of the folds around the nose. As well as the rearing of the front paws with a common shoulder shaped like a stripe with rainbows is impressive. The tail curls between the hind legs. There is no doubt the influence of Eastern models. The predator is a zoomorphic image of the male warrior and he fits the status of the deceased ruler for whose burial the breastplate was made. A characteristic shape for the early breastplates found in Thrace. A close parallel is given by the specimen from Dalboki. Rectangular part of the decoration of a vestry, made of pure silver along with lion head and gorgon appliques. There is a hanging loop on top. The outwardly curved edge of the applique is framed with a row of negatively hammered pearls. A figural scene is represented in the field, a quadriga in which a female figure stands. The Greek master retains the characteristic of vase painting from the beginning of the 5th century BC. A frontal rendering of the chariot, allowing him to display his skill in mastering perspective. The middle horses have their heads turned towards each other, and the outer ones, outwards. The goddess of victory is standing frontally in the chariot. Her head is turned to the right and she is holding out a wreath with her right hand. Behind her, the wings are spread out frontally. The musculature of the horses is accurately rendered in low relief. The craftsman accurately conveys the details of the horse armor. The chest strap is decorated in the center with a large round applique and smaller pearls on both sides. The psalms end with square tiles. 
The goddess has her hair in a bun. Nike is often depicted in Thracian art because of the goddess's association with military success. Nike is associated with Athena, the goddess of war. In fact, the laying of the wreath is a characteristic ritual act for plots of royal ideology, investiture and immortalization. In Thracian iconography, the image of Nike appears often, earrings from Varna, wreath from Malamirovo, Zolatanitsa and others. The round part of the decoration of a vestry, made of pure silver, together with the appliques of the quadriga of Nike and the gorgon. The applique is framed with a row of negatively hammered pearls. A lion's head is represented in the field. A local work. The master retains the mask character of the image. He stylizes the features of the head in a face, seen from above. According to the model imposed in the Thracian Taurutics of Achaemenid examples, the mane between the ears, the eyebrows connected to the nose, the folds under the nose. The full face is characteristic of the representation of predatory animals. The lion is the main and most worthy antagonist of the hero as a trial and often replaces him in a zoomorphic code as a metaphor for his power. In Thracian iconography, the image of the lion as a separate head in a face is widespread. Compare with the appliques from Dolna Koznitsa, Lukovit and Malkata Mogola. The circular part of the vestry decoration along with the appliques with the quadriga of Nike and lion heads. The applique is framed with a profiled lace-like ornament. The gorgon is represented in the field. A Greek work. The master retains the masked nature of the gorgon. He stylizes the features, as if to show that before us is an image alien to nature. A certain grotesqueness shines through. Accurate rendering of details regardless of stylization. Medusa is the mortal of the three Gorgon sisters. The gaze petrifies people. They are among the mythical female adversaries of the hero on his path of initiation. Perseus, with the help of Athena, cuts off the head of the sleeping monster and presents it to the goddess, who hangs it on her auspices. The full face, the wide open eyes, the sticking out tongue, the wrinkles above the forehead testify to the tension of the image. In it, as in any mask, the inner is exteriorized. The goal is to instill terror in the enemy, which is why very often the objects of protective armament, and also of chariots, compare with the chariot of Rhesus. Described by Euripides, are, decorated, with the image of Medusa. It also serves as an apotropaean. In Thracian iconography, the Gorgonion appears on the S.A. Christi from Chernozem. In breastplates from Mezik and Varbitsa, in the sculptural program of the tombs from Strelcha, Sveshtari and Goliama Kosmatka. The elliptical tile with truncated ends made of pure gold. At the ends there are two holes for attaching to the garment through which pass gold fibulae, from which hang three acorns on chains. The field is bordered by a band of stamped figures of doves with their wings turned inwards. The birds seem to be walking in a ceremonial procession. The dove is a bird of Aphrodite. And the number, eight, 
is also associated with the numerical code of the goddess. If the burial is indeed female, then the presence of this image in the main decoration of the buried woman is explainable. On the other hand, the priestesses in the Oracle of Zeus at Dodona were called doves. Considering that the pendants on the breastplate are in the shape of an acorn, which signifies the fruit of the sacred oak of Zeus in this sanctuary, a similar semantic connection could be assumed. The Mesomphalos file found in Kukova Mound Duvanli forged from pure silver with a diameter of 26 cm, a height of 6 inches and 6 cm and a weight of 120 grams female burial. Cremation. Sarcophagus-like masonry grave. The beads are of two types with different sizes and shapes. The large ones are round and hemispherical, and the small ones are biconical. The large beads have triangular shapes with filigree and a rosette at the tip. The central bead made of pure gold is soldered to a horizontal tube for the chain. It has the most refined execution of filigree in the form of a strip from which five triangles emerge and in the center, a four-leaf rosette with a pearl. A small rosette is also soldered to one of the holders that the chain runs through. The biconic beads are surrounded by a band of pearl filigree, a characteristic form of necklace for Thrace. It finds parallels in the ornaments from Mushovitsa, the small mound near Shipka and the V. Bozhkov collection. The treasure from Duvanli, Bulgaria is kept in the National History Museum in Sofia.